Hmm. Maybe here? Hmm. Down here, maybe? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I need to find somewhere it'll fit. Maybe down here. Yeah. It's time for an iron farm, folks. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Vanilla. In this episode, I want to make an iron farm. And I think I don't have enough room, actually, at the top of this island. Originally, I was going to do it just up underneath the little tent that we have up there, but I don't think it's big enough. I want to bury it inside this mountain, so I think I'm going to have to do it down low, where it's a little bit thicker. Oh, it's time to sleep, though. So we can sleep in our first bed. It'll be nice. Coming back to our little original area for a little while. Perfect. Now, I have some resources, <laughs> a little bit uh, mismatched in my inventory, but I have some stuff that I need to make this farm. Now it's time to, uh, to dig the hole. So, let's make some space for it first and foremost. All right. So, I've just, uh, after clearing this area out, I've just made a little spot in the center, which I believe will be the spot where my uh, zombie goes. Now, this is sort of my own design, uh, using stuff that I've uh, learned about making iron farms in the past, and I've actually made this on some SMPs of mine before. So I'm trying to recreate that and I think I should be able to get a really decent double farm sorted. Now, if you're curious about the size of this area, we'll wait and see whether it works yet. But if you do want to duplicate this, at the moment it is 35 blocks long, seven by seven. So <laughs> if this works, uh, you could always build this underground for yourself. So to start off with, I've made this little section here, which will hold our zombie. We will eventually put some slabs on top of this, but just for moving around purposes, I'm leaving it as is. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then two more from there. So this is going to be the point where my villagers sit. So I should be able to remove that now and do the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five and then make a platform for the beds to go on. Speaking of beds, I sh probably should have brought some with me. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. And do I have, ha ha, one of those will do. Okay, now we can head back. So with that, I should be able to put my beds on top of here with the pillow facing towards the zombie. Like so. I think, hmm, <laughs> I probably should have built this a little bit higher, but that's okay. We might actually just lower this area here by one, just so that it's low enough that the villagers there don't run off, even though I will block them in. Uh, I do want to make it so actually, no, no, it will be fine. <laughs> this will be completely fine. Trust the process. Okay, I'm going to completely block that in and do the same on the other side, but leaving the front open. And then we'll just make up a little bit of a cage around this. Now I'm sort of building this like I would out in the overworld, even though technically there's no real requirement for setting up a roof over top of them. But I just wanted to make sure that I, I feel like I've got everything working exactly how I remember doing it. So there's that there. And then I should be able to, hmm, do I have a thing here? I do. Should be able to just make myself, we'll do it out of stone brick slabs so that we can see where they are. But if I do that, I believe they shouldn't be able to run out. Half, one and half. Let me see something. Yes. So a bed is actually ever so slightly higher than half a block tall. So you can see if I put down a half slab, for example, I'm at exactly 65.5, but a bed is just a fraction higher, one pixel in fact. And that one pixel is going to stop the villagers from being able to slip out of here, I believe. Either way, I don't think they're gonna try running towards a zombie that's in here, but it is good just in case. 
they try and escape. So let's do the same thing on this side. Okay. Now the idea here is I'm going to bring the villagers across and I'm going to let them walk up here and they should come up to this point, go to sleep and still be able to sleep from this spot here. I'll remove that and once they wake up, they'll wake up on the bed and not be able to come back out. That's the idea for now, but uh, we'll see whether or not it actually works. So I'm going to set up these little ramps. And from here, we're going to turn this back section into a spawning platform. Now, if I was doing this in the overworld, I would actually do the spawning platform up higher or say I was doing it over an ocean or something like that. But because they are close enough to the ground, I'm actually going to use slabs here in the entire middle section and make this outside area my killing chamber. So I should be able to go something like this. Make a one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven by seven. That is a big area. It might take a little bit for them to move and get killed. So we may, we may turn that into a five by five. And then over the top of these slabs, I should be able to put some walls or fences and they will come into this area and die. Cool. That part's sorted. I just need to make a couple more slabs. Yeah, <laughs> that should work. Hopefully that means that anywhere in here will not be spawnable space for our iron golem. Now, how much glass do we have? I'm gonna save the glass for the time being, and we're just gonna do a little bit more setup before we start trying to wrangle some villagers in. Oops. So, we'll grab some stone brick walls and place them around the outside edge here. In fact, I will remove these and do this. That should make it so that when the iron golems spawn, even if they spawn on this one, they won't get caught in the wall and the water will pull them in. So speaking of water, how am I going to want to do this? I think what I'll end up doing is having the items flow down into a item elevator or a water elevator going up the side here. So most likely going down into this spot and upwards. In fact, let's see where this ends up coming out. Okay. On the edge of the cliff. That's actually not too bad. So how close to the top are we? We're at Y level 94. Let's keep going. All right. Now we're at Y level 107. And then the height that this is at is 111. So we might even make a little basement to this area for our storage. So we might come down to Y104, go across. Now, did I set up an infinite water source here? I don't think so. Well, we do have this infinite water source. So I can set up those item elevators a little bit later on, but I should be able to do here is point those in towards that section and yeah now items will get caught on this outside edge so we may turn that back bit there into a bit of an actual wall yeah that should work and with that across there we shouldn't have them being able to go anywhere they might spawn on that though okay Look at this. Perfect. Killing chamber. Minus a little bit of lava. So let's sort that out. What I will need is a little bit of this stuff. And I kind of forgot to bring an axe. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way. I probably need more. But the reason I'm grabbing this wood is because it's fireproof. And... Ooh. <laughs> and it's fine if you don't have fire tick on in your world. But if you do... Getting yourself some of this wood can help you deal with fire and hold it at bay, or lava in this matter. Next, we'll grab a little bit of this lava here. May as well grab, yeah, a good handful. And with that, I think we should be good, yeah. Now with this, I can craft myself up. Ooh, I don't have any, hmm. <laughs> we'll take it down below. I believe in here somewhere. I do. I have some sticks. Okay. So I should be able to craft up a handful of these. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight might do. And we can use that to hold the lava at bay. So I might just uh, remove that quickly. And if I put one under here, how am I going to do that? Like this, an axe would be really handy right now. So like that, that and that. And I should be able to just place one out here as well. And if I put the lava in here, it shouldn't go anywhere. It shouldn't be able to burn that. It shouldn't be able to do anything other than cook our iron golems. <laughs> that way the water will come down into this area, or the items I should say, will flow down here into a bubble column. And everything goes up top. Nice. Now, I'm not going to do the same on this side until I have some villagers. And this is the, uh, yeah, this is the fun part. Oh boy. You are coming with me. And we are heading up there. <laughs> oh boy. Now, in the first episode, I believe, we actually came over here and locked these guys in. So, they should still be safe. I actually heard a door open just then. <laughs> yeah, they're still here. Now, that one's a nitwit, um, which shouldn't really cause any problems. But I'm still going to uh, see whether we can get a couple of normal villagers. The reason being, nitwits actually don't sleep at the same time as normal villagers. So having them all sleeping at the same time is a little bit preferable. And what I'm going to do is just come over here <laughs> and put that water down so that I can get back up easily to this point. Okay, let's see if we can wrangle some villagers. Oh boy. Now there should be one in here. Hello, friend. Two of you, actually. Hmm. Okay, they're going to get caught in there, I'm sure. Let's grab some wood. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay, so with that, I should be able to... Does one of these have a crafting table in it? Let's make some boats. Oh god, I'm so full of junk. If I chuck a second one there... <laughs> Ah, oh, no, take that out of my inventory. Get get in the, get in the boat. Yes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, with these guys like this, I should be able to scoot over this way, staying on this level. And have you ever been on a roller coaster, my friend? Yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, <laughs> it worked. Okay, that is a, a slightly faster and easier way than I was first anticipating. Perfect. Let me take you to your new home. Oh, it's nearly night time too. Okay, 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 okay. Now, can I get in here somehow? I want to make like a little loading bay that they can run from up into their beds. So if I do this at night time... Yes, I'm going to have to run around and be a little careful of all of the mobs, but at the same time, they should come over here and just hop into the bed once they realize that it's there. Now, I'm going to quickly remove that so they don't have anything that they can track towards. I'm also going to block off or actually remove these ones so that they go into the far end first. Okay. Go that way. No, 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 You are genuinely so frustrating to work with. Back down, you get back down. No, block that off so they can't go up there. Block this off. Go inside, please. There's a bed in there. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. You know it's there. You know it's there. Go that. What are you doing? This way. Maybe you can't pathfind on the half slabs. See? Nice and easy. You can do it. Hosha. Nope. This way. That way. Go. Where are you trying to get to? Yes. 
Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank goodness. If I could get a second one there tonight, I'll be happy. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I got this. I need you to trust me. Yeah. <laughs> See? That wasn't so bad. Okay. Off you go. I saw your little particles. We may or may not have been hit by a creeper just then. But, <laughs> you should go up there too. Yes. And I think, I think I'm going to leave them. Just two in there. The reason being is I don't think I have enough of the full villagers, like not nitwits, over in that other encampment. And yeah, I, I think I think I'll just breed the two in there and the two in there. It should be fine. Now I'm uh, I'm a little worried, so I am going to do that just in case. I don't want to uh, I don't want to test it right now. <laughs> okay, two more villagers. It'll be fun, I swear. You and me, my friend, we're heading over there. Ah, oh, swoop. <sighs> Perfectly executed. You'd love to see it. Come on, buddy. And I think I'll leave these two in the boat until I have, uh, have this all set up and ready to go at night time. And during the day, I'll actually... But, buddy, did you go investigating the fire again? <laughs> Stay there and watch over these, okay? Stay in there instead. <laughs> watch over those folks while I go and get myself uh, some carrots. Yeah. I have carrots. Eh. Eat and make babies. Eh. Oh. Wait, was that enough? I think it's working. It's, oh my, a child. <laughs> yes, a child. Okay, uh, the kid shouldn't run out of there, right? We might block that off just for a moment until that is fully grown. Get on the bed. In you go. Down on the bed. Come on. <gasps> yes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That is three in there. Ooh, and it's night time. Oh, the timing. The timing is perfect. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You. And you. Go to bed. Yes. I need the other bed. No. Ha-ha. Go to bed. Bed. What are you do? Bed. Bed. Go to bed. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on. Maybe if I reset them both. Go to the bed. <sighs> Come on. What what are you doing? <laughs> nice big path going up to bed. Yes. Oh, no. Come on. Haha. -ha. Eventually there won't be anywhere else for you to go. You're running out of room. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Just, just go to bed. Do you want that bed? This bed. Do you want a purple bed? Purple bed. No? Okay. If I can just get him to go up in there. Just up on the bed. Ha ha! Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I should be able to feed them some carrots. And our villagers are in. All I will have to do is let them grow up and... By the time the next night comes around, I should be able to get myself a zombie. And this thing will be running. I hope. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, try and get that all sorted as quick as possible. See if I can get it up and running in the right time frame. And then we'll test out the farm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, they are getting scared though. Oh dear, let's block that off. Whew. I just want to make sure that the baby is fully grown first 
But then once that is confirmed, and I've got the little water elevators going up, we'll truly try it out. Ah, oh, but I think that's it. I think the main part, the difficult part, is done. Nice. All right. Sometime later, I think I'm ready to go. So I'm going to come into here and I believe, oh, whoa, oh, 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 I'm not ready to go. Hold on. <laughs> Almost though. Almost. Somewhere here. This is fine. I should be able to block this off. Yes. They shouldn't spawn on top of there. We remove this glass. We remove these and I remove those. Iron golems. There's one. There's... <gasps> okay. It's working. Now, I'm just going to block this in, assuming that I've done everything correct. I can get back in there later if I need to, but let's get up top. Up we go, because I've already built my little station to collect it all. If we come over to here, I can come down. I just place something underneath here and wait, I need to block that off. This should work. Ooh, hold on. Yeah. Okay. That should work. <laughs> I just hadn't quite set the filters properly. All right. Let's, uh, oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Okay, this should work. Now, I'm going to use my free cam here and you can see we do have a guy burning. Now, if that's the case, I should be able to see all of that stuff come up here. There we go. That will need to fill up fully, of course, but yeah. So I have two layers for the iron, which is six double chests worth. And then I have this little setup here to capture the poppies and turn them into bone meal. Oh, that needs some work. Okay, we can fix that. But if you look here, we do have this little one running along the bottom towards the other side. And both of those come up the outside of there and into this one. So let me, uh, <laughs> let me try and fix that problem out on the outside there which should be fairly simple with something just like, do I have any moss carpet on me? I need moss carpet. All right, I think I fixed it. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Let's go down here. I don't think anything should be spawnable over that side. I don't think anything should be spawnable on this side except maybe that, but it might be far enough away. There goes one. And the idea of this build is that Wherever those iron golems spawn in this area, they are far enough away that this group here will not detect them. So they should still have their own 30 second cooldown for spawning their own golem. So let's see. There we go. There's one. And then these guys in about 10 seconds should also spawn one. Let's see. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> I didn't actually count properly. So there we go. It was pretty close. So now those should be working and coming up here into this. Yes. Now it obviously hasn't got enough poppies yet to go through this system and compost anything, but that will happen pretty quickly. We just got a few more pieces. Nice. Now, technically I believe this should be in my spawn chunks, which means that anytime I'm in the overworld, regardless of where I am, it should be loaded and running. So we're going to test that. Not for super long, but we know that we have about 18 in here. I'm going to go back to my main base and what I'm going to do is just do some trading. I'm going to heal this pickaxe and bits and pieces like that. Uh, clean out my inventory a little bit and... Oh God. <laughs> And just in general, spend about, goodbye, about 10 minutes or so. Just doing little things, pottering around, maybe, oh, my face, gathering some of the crops and whatnot. And then I'll come back and see whether it's been working. Yeah, because if it has, that means that we're going to be gathering iron whenever we're in the overworld, which is the goal. 
and honestly, the main reason why I did it where I did. <laughs> so, I'll uh, I'll see you in about ten minutes. All right, it's been a handful of minutes. Let's see. God, I'm worried. Okay. Yes, I really didn't spend that much time away. It was less than five minutes. But yes, I, I believe, I believe so. Okay, what I may do now is go back over to my base and to truly test it, I'll spend an hour there. I'll AFK for an hour and then we'll come back and double check whether or not it's actually working properly. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you again just shortly. Very quick for you guys, but hopefully this all works. God, I hope so. Uh, uh, well, I did say that I wanted to zombify some of them. How did you get got? Huh, maybe I should have uh, checked that before I AFK'd. Hmm. <laughs> I think we might quickly need to take care of that. Uh, one of you, give me some apples to heal your brothers. Okay. Uh, I should be able to hit three of them here. And now I just need to brew up another one. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no. Thankfully, I do have this little area down here. Oh, which has definitely been working. Okay, okay. We'll work this out. And I think we should probably mark them. Just so that I know which ones have been zombified at a glance. So we're going to do that. I'm sure I've got another piece of uh, dark oak button up here. Yes. Okay. Well. <laughs> Problem solved, I suppose. I will put away a couple of these potions just so that we have them uh, ready to go, I guess. Whoops. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I might just wait until they are cured just to make sure. And then we'll head over and see whether the iron farm's been working. Okay, villagers cured. Now, let's see. Okay, not as much as I would have hoped for how long I was gone. What is that? Uh, it was at about a stack or just past, so that's one, two, three, four, five, about six stacks. Hmm, 128, about 300 and something. Not ideal. Something must be going on. There it is. <laughs> There's my problem. It's only been running on one side. Damn. Okay. That's fine. We can, uh, we can fix that somehow. We can fix that. <sighs> so these little spots here, it can obviously spawn. Damn. Ow! Oh, okay. <laughs> Lucky we have good armor. All right. If I grab myself, we'll just use some glass. Glass should do the trick. Put the glass on those and these here just to be safe. And now it should be good. Damn it. <laughs> That's a little bit of a pain, but it's all right. It is what it is. Oh, buddy, did I leave you in there? Do you want to come here? Good boy. So this should now be up and running. Do we have, we do have a little bit of bone meal. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of that out and I might just uh, convert it into blocks so that it's out of the way. <laughs> hey, buddy. Perfect. It was exactly enough to make 52. And now <laughs> I'll test it again. But this time I might stick around. I might have a bit of a look to see whether or not they're spawning in uh, interesting places that they're not supposed to. But I do believe nothing over here should be a problem. It was just that one side. Obviously it was a little bit close to the outside. I could probably make that look a bit neater by getting some half slabs of the stone variety and just putting them on top of there. But for now it does the trick. So let's give that about another hour and see how we go. Yeah. And an hour later. Okay. Not too bad. 
How much is that? Uh, 9 times 64. Hmm. Math. 9 times 6 is... 54, so 540, 9 times 4 is 36, 500 plus 11 is 47, so 540 plus 47, about just under 600 in an hour, not the best. Not crazy efficient, but I mean, it's fine, completely fine for my purposes. Let's have a look down here. Oh, well, it still seems to be working on that side, which is good. And what about on this side? Let's see. There we go. Not too bad. Okay. The beauty of this is it's going to run wherever we are in the overworld. So I'm pretty happy with that. Not too worried at all. And with that much, over the course of two hours, I've pretty much got myself, what, a little over two stacks or maybe two stacks of, uh, of blocks. Not too bad. In fact, let's just quickly do that. Not quite two stacks, but, uh, 118? <laughs> blocks of iron I'm pretty happy with that all in all sort of successful for really not that much effort in reality the entire build and setting up everything and sort of collecting the villages and everything like that only took a couple of hours and that was uh that was fiddling around and troubleshooting and trying different things at the same time so not too bad and I've managed to block it all up get it back to a normal position, and now it'll just run in the background at all times. I got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Actually, one thing that I would like to do, where did I put it? I might have put it away back at home. I think it's time to get a bubble elevator going in here because the amount of times that I came up here and tried to uh, get back up top is ridiculous. <sighs> but with that, I think we'll call the episode here. It is one of the lovely things that I like to try and do is make my own versions of things. I know there is already plenty of designs for iron farms out there, which I could guarantee to work at a perfect ratio or whatever. But uh, this was fun. It's a little hallway design. I like it. Simple, fairly effective. And at the end of the day, it's going to get us plenty of iron. So, not too shabby. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for your continued support. You guys are amazing. I genuinely appreciate it. And thank you everyone who's been enjoying the series and the new Vault Hunters series as well. I'm having a lot of fun uh, working on these videos lately. And I'm pretty happy with this world so far as well. I've got a lot of plans and I'm actually feeling pretty motivated between the two. So... I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like. It does help a lot. And I'll see you soon in a new episode. So with that, until the next one, I hope you take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone. Yeah, feels good to have another use for this area back here. And we can clean things up and come through the portal and get ourselves iron whenever we like. Yeah. All right. Well, nice. Success. Another successful use of villages. <laughs> yeah. Episode's over now, folks. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>